What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Gerald from Bank of Gerald here with another video update. Today is Wednesday, August the 3rd, 2022. And today we're going to be talking about a platform, of course, well, not really a platform at the moment, but it was a platform. And we're hoping that it could possibly become a platform that it was again. But we don't know what's going to happen with this court case. We're talking about Amini FX, right? And today is indeed the court case for Eddie Alexandre. Um, I believe it starts at nine o'clock. It right now is 8.50 a.m. Um, before we get started talking about what we have seen in the community group, because of course we are not out there in New York for the case itself personally, um, I wanna make sure everyone understands that I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice and I am not your financial advisor, right? I'm just a dude on YouTube showing you guys how I'm cranking out that crypto in many different platforms, nothing more and nothing less than that. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, make sure you hit that notification bell as well. We're going to go ahead and jump into the Telegram. I'm going to make sure that I have this up. Um, but right now, people are out there in New York. In groves, actually, a lot of people came out based on what I can see in these pictures to support Eddie in the court case today. Um, there's been a lot of information shared in the community FX, uh, I'm sorry, Amini FX group. And with everything that's going on, I believe there will be multiple updates today. So if you're not in the Amini FX community group already, um, I suggest that you Get in this group and stay updated on what's going on. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the Telegram. Give me a couple seconds here. And we're going to take a look at what's been going on in there. All right. So here we go. So we've got some pictures. we got some pictures that are out here. Um, different things. Uh, uh, people out here gathered. This is right outside the courtroom. People in their Amini FX shirts, suits, looking good, probably feeling good, and smelling good. Look at all these people. That's amazing. That is just amazing. Um, you know, all these different, wow, I'm just, I'm not shocked necessarily. Because there was a lot of support for Amini FX. There's a lot of people that believe that um, we're being racially uh, profiled here um, as a community because of what's happened to Eddie. So many people out there in groves. This is just amazing to me. I, I'm sorry if it, if it's not if it's not that amazing to you. That's cool. You don't have to watch. But I mean, look at this. Don't mess with the Haitian community. Receivership, get your knees off my neck. It's just an amazing thing that's going on here. The community has really shown up. And I'm, I'm ecstatic. So let's look at this update here. It says attention, and this was at uh, the 27th of July. It says the court date changed to the 9.30 time on August 3rd, all right? So that's going to be going on at 9.30. So another 30 minutes, and they'll be getting started. Um, that's Eddie right there. For those of you that don't know who Eddie Alexandre is, all right? People are just landing in the Big Apple. They're coming from, in from all over the world, ladies and gentlemen. It's an amazing thing. It says, peace. This was ooh, yesterday, all right? I'm just read this, and and then we'll carry on with the rest of our videos today. But I just wanted to share this first because this is actually going on right now. It says, hello, Amini FX family. A peaceful financial revolution has started. We are not looking back. The train has left the station. It's all or nothing. On August 3rd, let's shake the courthouse so that no one goes through that building that day. No one that goes through that building that day will ever forget the name Eddie Alexandre and the great work that he has been doing for his community. We will be respectful to the court system and its officers. We will show them professionalism through our comportment. By our presence, we will send a silent message to the prosecution and to the judge that our, uh, that our resolve is strong. 
to see our CEO free and our business return to us. We will not rest until our rights to our financial freedom that has been hijacked from us to be restored back to us. God has sent a humble and selfless man to do a work that others would have charged thousands of dollars to partake just a tenth of this genius of a mind. But instead, he has been maligned, or, or I think that's what it, mal, I, you know, I'm not sure. Mal, I want to say it's maligned or malignant, or I don't know. Uh, somebody can help me with that. We are not blind. We can see that the love of money is truly the root behind this evil and racism, its fruits. He is black, Haitian, and a non-citizen. How dare he unlock for thousands the financial freedom that is reserved for the rich? He must be bruised and beaten back to his class so that he can remember his place in the society of the haves and have-nots. And that is, that is an, I believe that's an opinion of what they feel of what's going on with Eddie and how people in power are seeing this, uh, um, seeing Eddie. Um, let's continue on. Um, our, fi- our journey is to remind those that are trying to oppress our financial freedom that slavery is no longer to be tolerated in whatever forms that it may come in. Its actors must be exposed for what they are. Financial rapists. Wow, that is strong. We will rise up in the silent movement to be a formidable foe to those oppressors whenever they see the name of Amini FX and Eddie Alexandre. They will walk to the other side of the street to let them pass. We will not be violent, but you will feel the force of our determination to be financially free. Free Eddie Alexandre and let Amini FX financial freedom ring. And guys, this is going on right now, ladies and gentlemen. At 500 Pearl Street, New York, New York. They ask people to be at the courthouse at 7.30 if they want to find a seat, and court will be a session at 9.30. So in another 30 minutes, we'll probably be doing videos, but this court will indeed be in session, and we'll be looking for updates on this. Um, So much support has already came in to New York, and I'm sure more will pile in as the time goes by. Um, It's just an amazing thing to see. This happened in the space. This is kind of monumental. Um, This is the first time that we've seen a platform that, um, of course, that we participate in as depositors and as investors here at BOJ. Um, First time that we're seeing a platform going through this, especially in the United States, a platform that um, whose CEO is on trial and is currently um, fighting for the company's uh, legitimacy and its freedom from the people who have claimed it to be a Ponzi scheme and a Ponzi scheme. So this is monumental. Um, the, the, the outcome from this case could very well have a lot of uh, implication on the platform space as a whole, um, how it gets handled here in the States, um, how legit opportunities are handled as compared to maybe not so legit. And, um, We're going to see the outcome. I'm never going to ever claim to be a law expert. But what I will do is is repeat what I can understand and try to make it layman as I can. Um, But I'll also be hoping that uh, this group continues to give the updates that it has been in the way that it has been giving them in ways that we can understand what's going on. For those of you that have not gotten to the group, I will leave the Telegram group in the description of this video. Um, I've left it previously before. For those of you that have not gotten into it, uh, we're going to go ahead and share that one more time for you guys so you guys can stay updated, even if I'm not able to bring a update as quickly as things are unfolding. All right. With that being said, please put your 2FA on all the platforms that will allow you and all your wallets because crypto is indeed the wild, wild west. And if you ain't strapped, you're bound to get hacked. Ask me how I know. It is not very fun at all. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, just make sure you hit that notification bell as well, all right? I will see you guys on the next video. This is Amini FX. Peace out. Let's see what goes down.